Hi, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to uh, do some spot color with some text. I'm going to incorporate it onto this image, making uh, 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 this picture is going to go in, in an invitation, and uh, I want to uh, blend it m better with um, as far as color coordinate with uh, with the image with something in the image, and I'm going to choose the red and the hats. So I'm going to show you how to do some spot color with this red and and be a little more creative with your text. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I've already typed using a Christmas font. I'm, I've already typed my my uh, my text in here, what I want it to say. And so now I'm just going to select it. And as you can see, it's selected. Um, and now I want to choose a color. And I'm going to choose this red. So to get the red uh, perfectly matched. I'm going to use my eyedrop tool. If you don't see it in the list, uh, just hold your left uh, mouse key down and you'll see the list come out. I'm going to use the eyedrop tool to pick a color here. And so I'm going to place my eyedrop tool over one of these hats uh, to bring in the red. And when I do that, you're going to see this color in this box down here change. Uh, to whatever I click on and this is your RGB colors. So now that I have that um, in the box I'm going to, to open up my color palette I'm going to uh, left click twice on this box and that's going to bring in my color palette and uh, if I go to palettes uh, I can drop down and uh, and find the color that I want and here are what I can do is just add it to the color palette. Once I add it to the color palette, um, I should uh, be able to create this as a new color. And so having done that, um, I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to click the color that I want it to be and that's going to add it as a fill and if I want to get even more creative um, I could uh, left click on the box and make the outline the red that I've matched in the hat and then uh, uh, left click on the white and make the uh, fill the white so if I left click the fill would be white and if I right click the outline would be red or vice versa so I could do it either way and then left click on white now if I want to um, change the uh, the brightness or the fade in this lettering I'd go over here and uh, find my transparency tool which is right here and left click on transparency and then uh, this would be the percentage of how light or dark I would want that to come in. And so now I have a red that matches with the reds in these Santa hats and I've also used my white to help with the outline to even make it to make it even more creative. Now I'm changing the brightness and the darkness of the text so that it blends a little better. And now I have something that I'm happy with. So um Again, um, to show you how to use spot color using text and to incorporate it into an image so that you can create something uh, a little more effective for color matching. My name is Vicki. If you have any questions, if you uh, anything you want to ask me about this procedure, feel free to call me. I'm at Condi Systems Tech Support. And as always, I appreciate your time.